on a mission once again. Weeks after the Chinese Coast Guard used water cannon against these two wooden boats, they're back with supplies for Filipino troops, sailing towards the second Thomas Shoal in the South China Sea. Al Jazeera was one of a number of selected media outlets on board the Philippine Coast Guard vessel escorting the Navy chartered supply boats. Before setting sail, we were warned, the Chinese will almost certainly stand in our way. We always encounter dangerous maneuvers, shadowing activities. True enough, as we got closer to the BRP Sierra Madre, the old warship Manila deliberately grounded to stake its claim on the second Thomas Shoal, the Chinese Coast Guard issued one radio challenge after another. I will you to leave this area immediately. Any consequences in China for The warnings were followed by an hour's long chase, with Chinese vessels outnumbering the Filipinos. And we are being surrounded by Chinese vessels now. The Chinese Coast Guard vessel has been shadowing us for a while now at one point, sailing as close as six meters to this vessel, according to the Philippine Coast Guard crew on board with us. Moments later, our camera captured this moment, when one of the Chinese Coast Guard ships deliberately closed in on us. So close we feared its bow would ram our vessel's hull. The supply ships slipped through, but we were boxed in. But it doesn't mean that they are allowing the supply vessels in the first place. We don't even have to ask for their permission. The second Thomas Shoal is about 114 nautical miles or about 200 kilometers from our port of departure in Palawan, the Philippines' westernmost province. But China claims sovereignty over nearly the entire South China Sea. And while Beijing says it's committed to peaceful dialogue, at the recently concluded ASEAN summit in Jakarta, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said actions speak louder than words. We cannot emphasize enough that actions, not words, should be the ultimate measure of our commitment to securing peace and stability in the South China Sea. Marcos has joined foreign allies to press for freedom of navigation. A U.S. Navy aircraft was hovering above as Philippine and Chinese forces were in a standoff, even as talks are still underway for joint patrols. Barnabillo, Al Jazeera, in the South China Sea. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.